Alright guys, so I'm going to teach you a little bit about combatives. Um, there's a lot of arguments about how much time you should invest in things and whether or not you can run guys through a one week course in combatives and spit out effective uh, fighters or warriors. Um, and I, I think this is really the best way to, uh, to present this analogy. So, the reality is, is what you sacrifice in technique and talent, you're going to have to make up for in force. So, a perfect example of this would be, let's say I'm going to take a combatives program here, and my object is to drive this nail into the board uh, in as few a strokes as possible, in as quickly a time as possible. So, a typical combatives type program that emphasizes force over technique and stuff like that is to sink. Now, another argument might be, well, I didn't get that the first time around, so we clearly need more force. So we're going to come in here. That hurt a whole lot more than I'm letting on. So we come in here, more force. Okay, that did not go in. So, I'll just kind of stick that there. More force. Still did not go in. I have no idea. Try here. Okay. I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. So, the other side of the argument is that I can invest time and energy into training. So, The idea is, is that if I'm going to stake my life on something, it needs to be consistent. Consistency means time and training. It means being able to use the adequate amount of force, but use that force in a manner that is productive. Using excessive force to make up for lack of talent is only going to make your training that much worse. Learn how to train. Learn how to apply that force. It's not just violence of action. It's violence under control. By the same token, the same argument can be made about the correct tool to use. So, people want to argue about, you know, uh, should I use this or learn this style or that or whatever. Look, right tool for the right job. Versus tool has the right place. The idea is, is that you need to find the one that gives you the correct results in the right amount of time. If screws are not going to work for you, you know, this is not going to help. I'm going to break my damn drill. Don't spend all your time learning Kung Fu Wazoo and realizing that it's not the correct tool for the type of application that you're using and now you've got 20 years invested in something that is utterly useless. Better do away with the expensive doodad and go with something that you know works. It's just about consistency and training and about using the right tool for the right job guys. So wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a picture of what combative training is like and what this whole argument about using more aggression and making up for lack of technique. Now that being said, what if I had this amount of violence in me but I had technique also? How much better could I do then? Learn the technique first, then learn to apply the violence to it. You do it the other way around, and you're just going to be some retard swinging a hammer around hoping that he hits something. So, you guys train hard.